All right, gang, I'm back, and I wanted to shoot you a quick video to talk about integrated marketing campaigns, what are more commonly referred to as IMCs, integrated marketing campaigns. So in a nutshell, an integrated marketing campaign is simply this. When a company is using all of the promotional mix tactics in an integrated way, that's called an integrated marketing campaign. And the example you're going to see for week three is the example from California cheese. So this is the California Dairy Board uh, branding an unknown generic product, cheese made in California, and using it to compete, which was then the well-known branded cheese name, Wisconsin. So they took a generic product and created a brand, and they did that by developing an integrated marketing campaign. And an integrated marketing campaign essentially uses all of the promotional mix components. And there's four components to the promotional mix. Those are advertising, public relations, personal sales, and sales promotion. Let me briefly describe each of those to you. And I think that you also had this on a previous week's lecture. But advertising is a paid message with a named sponsor. You're developing a campaign and placing it in a media. You're paying for the campaign. You're paying for the media to place it on radio, TV, print, digital. PR, public relations. You're doing a cool event that the media picks up or you're submitting a press release that the media picks up. But essentially, it's free coverage of your company, a new product, some good works you're doing in the community would be examples of PR, public relations. Personal sales. Personal sales are salespeople. So this is direct spoken communication between buyer and seller. Cars, clothing, houses, things that are very expensive or have a lot of risk tend to need salespeople, personal sales, uh, to execute that transaction. Please don't confuse personal sales with something like in-store sampling or uh, a special event where people come up to your booth and they can learn about your company or your products. That's not personal sales. Personal sales is when there's a salesperson who is directly responsible for talking to the potential buyer and getting them to buy the product, sales people. If it's something else, it's probably promotion, or publicity. So that's the distinction between those and straight up personal sales. Advertising, PR, personal sales. And then the fourth, sales promotion. Generic category, uh, usually designate designed to generate trial for a new product or stimulate sales right now. So here we see things like coupons and buy one get one freeze and samples, uh, special events, trade shows, on pack displays. Uh, so when it's designed to generate sales right now or to get trial of a new product right now, it's probably sales promotion. So if it's not straight up advertising, if it's not PR, if it's not personal sales, then it's probably sales promotion, which you can think of as kind of a carnival aspect of marketing tends to fall under the sales promotion strategy. These aren't always mutually exclusive. You can have an ad with a coupon offer inside of it as advertising as well as sales promotion. So when a company integrates all four of these components, advertising, PR, personal sales, and sales promotion, and is doing all of them with a consistent brand, brand message across all four platforms, that's what we call an integrated marketing campaign. They're super complex to execute, they're hard to manage, uh, and they're expensive. And the California cheese example that you'll see with your video uh, for this week is a good example of that. I'll also post in uh, this lecture a couple of links to some examples of other integrated marketing campaigns that you can look at. But the actual assignment has the California cheese video, which you will need to watch to answer that week's questions. All right, good luck. Thank you for listening.